Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Leah Fibers podcast, episode two. Um, I didn't get one up last month because everyone was always at home and I can't record if there's anyone at home because um, but my sister's been working from home. She's a teacher. She's going, I'm doing this while she's running to the school to drop off some stuff to have somebody make copies. And um, so we're on a time crunch today. Um, okay, so what's been going on in my personal life since you guys, I know you care. I know you care so much. Um, I really hurt my hands when I was knitting a lot last year. Um, so I have been taking it very slow with my knitting. I've been focusing more on like painting and that's about it. I started playing video games, which is really exciting. I'm playing Uncharted 4, which is amazing because I'm like, I've always been really obsessed with pirates. Um, we just really hopped in today, didn't we? Um, but yes, Uncharted is amazing. I'm almost finished with it. I'm on chapter 19 out of 22, I believe. Um, but there's a really hard shooting part and I can't get past it. So I'm gonna make my friend do that when he, um, next time I see him, cause I can't. The shooting, it stresses me out too much. I don't like the violence. <laughs> I just like hunting around for the treasure. That's really fun and I love it. Um, what else? Painting, video games. Okay, so now we're moving on to the book of the month. Um, and so last time I talked about Addie LaRue and I finished it and I finished it while I was in the bath and I was over my book, sobbing, tears onto the book. It was so good. I just ugly cried. It was amazing. Um, so I highly recommend that one. I don't have it with me to show you the beautiful cover. I let it um, I let a friend borrow it immediately when I finished it. And then I didn't read anything after that for about a month and a half because nothing could top it. Nothing could top Addie LaRue. So now I'm reading, um, I finally got back into it. This is a book my sister got me for Christmas. It is Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman. Um, you know Neil Gaiman, sweet baby angel. I love him. Um, he wrote this something really cool about this book is he was writing this series for kind of a I think a tv show and every time he had something he wanted to add into the tv show or like if they cut something like the producers they were like no we're not going to do this he'd be like okay I'll add it to the book so he wrote like a book about it I've never seen the show I didn't know there was a show I could be wrong but I think that's what he said at the beginning Okay, yeah. Yeah, so it was a TV series on the BBC. Maybe I'll watch it when I'm done with this book. But they kept cutting things and he added them to the book. <laughs> I'm 50 pages in. I've been reading it. Um, I babysit my friend's son. And we have reading time every day. We have painting in the morning. Then I let him do whatever. And then he has class. We do his schoolwork. And then after that we read. He just reads a Magic Treehouse book. But you'd think I was like forcing him, I don't know, to dig a hole in the ground for 20 years. I don't know. He's very, he does not like reading time, but I love the reading time. So I've only been reading it there. <laughs> um, but it's really good. It's about, I don't know entirely. I don't read the back of books <laughs> before I read them because I don't, I like to be surprised about all of it. Like I... I'll watch a video or something and somebody like tells you a little bit about the book so I read I'm like oh that sounds interesting so I'll read it but I don't read the back because I don't want it to give away too much because often they do um that's weird but I don't okay anyway my sister got it for me because it's one of V.E. Schwab's favorite books and she read this and it inspired her to write A Darker Shade of Magic which as we talked about last time my favorite series okay so I guess that's enough of book talk today. Oh, but it's about like multiple Londons and you can like travel through them, like different dimensions kind of thing, which is similar to A Darker Shade of Magic. Okay. Anyway, not much has happened. Um, the inciting incident has barely happened. So anyway, it's pretty good so far. I'm not super in love with any of the characters yet, but one of them, who I think she'll be my favorite, she's 
only been in here for a few pages. Um, just based off of my past, she's the like little thief, kind of aggressive female character. An aggressive female character, because that's demeaning. More like a oh gosh, why can't I talk? Um, <laughs> it's more like a you know powerful, independent female character. Okay, shut up, Julia. That's enough about the books. So I'll tell you next month if I love this one. And um, yes, I hope I do. It smells really good. Okay, so we're gonna move on to yarn acquisitions. I only have one. Well, I have like, I've bought, we had a sale at the yarn shop that I work at. So I bought like four skeins of yarn for like 15 bucks and they're like nice skeins of yarn okay I'll just go through a couple peace fleece I really love peace fleece a project that I started and finished since I last saw you guys which I did a lot I have a lot of finished objects and two whips anyway um it was in peace fleece and I love this yarn it's like very rustic and like crunchy kind of but then when you wash it it's very nice um so I got this, I got a skein of sock yarn, it's like a non-wool, because I think it's nice to just have those on hand, because um, some people don't use wool, they don't like wool, they can't use wool, whatever. Um, and it's so pretty. Okay, alright, that's enough. But the the main one is um, what my sister got, one of the things my sister got me for Christmas. She's the best present buyer. She got me books, she got me yarn, a Gregory Allen vinyl. Mm, 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 mm. Anyway, okay, shut up. <laughs> so this sock set. Um, she got it from just, I told her some yarn dyes I liked, but I also said I like to just support smaller ones that aren't at, like don't have as big of a following. Um, and I don't know anything about this company. I still haven't looked them up, but it is the Crochet Bunnies. Um, and this is the Pop-Tart colorway look how cute this is the lightest little speckles which i love like a neutral yarn there's a dog here um i love a neutral yarn with speckles and then this lovely contrast um hi tizzy the old dog just came in hey hi um but it's also aggressively similar to a sock set I bought from my friends over at Mockingbird Fiber Company. <laughs> They're very similar. This one is a little more like pinkish and this one, anyway, I mean, they're not like the exact same, but they're pretty similar, but I don't mind because, hey, I love it. It's amazing. Um, what else? I guess not much more in the way of acquisitions okay we'll move on to visit finished objects so I will start with the ones I was working on last time and then I have one two three four five things that I hadn't even started um, when we last spoke because at the end of the year I get really stressed out that I'm not gonna finish all my projects by the end of the year which is insane and no one should be stressed out about that but I put a lot into my knitting like I'm I plan it too much and I so my goal for this year is to just chill out about it um today I'm drinking a peach pear LaCroix if anyone likes LaCroix and hasn't tried this one it's my favorite it's hard to find like I can never find it so I have a stockpile in my house I have like five at one point I think I had five cases and I've gone through a couple of those so I just have three left I think anyway okay so this is the shawl I was knitting for my sister the powder and dust. I hope you can see that. I'm kind of looking through the holes. Yeah, you can. Okay. So these are in colorways from Dragon Horde Yarns, inspired by Sarah J. Mass books, which are my sister's favorites. She's, I think, her favorite author. Um, but she ordered the yarn, and I told her I would knit her something. And this is what we decided on. It's very lovely, very cute. I hated it <laughs> because I hate shawls like this. I hate the shape because this is all one row at the end. It had like over 400 stitches and I cut it short. Like that's so much. It was, oh, it was very annoying, but 
lovely all the same. She hasn't worn it yet, so I don't know what that's about. Should have made her wear it today, but I wouldn't have had to, to show you. Um, but overall, I'm really happy with this project. I kind of want to make one for myself in the future, but I don't think I will because it was too much work. Okay. <laughs> and then next, my... Well, the sleeves are wrong side out because I wear this quite a bit. Um, my cardigan. The Delicate by... Oh, gosh. Anna Maria... Ad Advos? I don't remember. I I'm going to put all of the prod... Like, the names the yarns and everything I use in the description like I did last time. I might have it a little more organized and I might even, you know, mess around and link it to the Ravelry page. I don't know. Um, but it's shorter than I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be like past my butt. It comes like mid butt, but I'm really happy with it. I stopped because I was tired of knitting on it, which I do that a lot because I get really stressed out about I'm like oh I haven't finished it and I have to work on that because that's wild it's a hand knit sweater it's okay if it takes you a few months to finish it but um I will not be knitting a light fingering weight cardigan anytime in the near future so here's this one this color is exquisite and I um have a project I'm working on that I think will go very lovely with it okay so next, oh, what did I knit next? Oh, okay. So the next thing I knit was my Cozy Classic Raglan by Jessie May. Do you see this pooling here? You can't see it in real life. I mean, if you really look at it, but on camera, it shows up like crazy because I wasn't alternating skeins in the yoke, or I guess it's not a yoke because it's a raglan. I don't, I don't know the terminology. I just don't. I don't pretend to know. Anyway, um, this is out of Malabrigo Arroyo. Um, I didn't hold a mohair with it because I don't want, really want mohair for a sweater. I have a mohair project that's a shawl and it works very nicely, but I think a sweater, it would irritate me too much. So I just went with a sport weight. It's a little cropped, but if anyone really knows, I'm wearing a crop right now. Um, I, I crop everything because I like how it looks on me better. Um, it's less knitting. Um, but anyway, this project was amazing. I love how simple it is, but I don't wear it enough. I might wear that to work today. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, but I really want to make another one of these. I probably will with a colorway from a project that I'm going to show you in a minute. Oh, it's, I love it. I'm obsessed with everything I've knit recently, except one. And I'll get to it because I absolutely hate it. <laughs> okay. So next I made some socks. This is a very vintage Christmas. I've worn them, so there's like already some pilling and stuff. Um, this is from Tiny Human Knits. I just did a simple vanilla sock. I didn't follow a pattern. It's just in me brain. Um, but boy, oh boy, am I obsessed with these. My friend Danny and I ordered the yarn and we were gonna do a knit along with them, but it didn't really work out. And But she just finished hers yesterday. Um, I'm just look how beautiful this is because I wanted some Christmas socks I didn't have them finished for Christmas um, but I wanted some Christmas socks but the thought of having just a pair of socks I can wear once a year or like for only like a month and a half every year miss me with that I don't want it that's disgusting I'm kidding it's not disgusting but I like to wear my stuff and if I can't wear it all the time I don't really you know, I don't want to put the effort forth if I can just wear it once or twice a year, but I've worn these so many times this month, um, which is January, by the way. I don't know if I said that. Um, it'll say on the video. Oh my gosh. Okay. Sorry for the self-deprecation. Um, <laughs> okay. So next, 
this might be my favorite knit of the year. Um, I'm always wearing it. It's amazing. And I, I use my own yarn for it, which I did more this year than I have before. And I plan to this coming year or this past year, I did it more. Um, so this is the Bennett Sister Shawl by Lindsay Fowler. Lars Perk. She changed her name and I don't remember what it is. But again, I'm going to link it. She, this pattern is just amazing. It's very simple. It's an, like you knit it from end to end. So the most stitches you have, I think was like 240 at the middle, which is very doable. But it just has like, so this half does not have mohair, but then this half does have mohair. And look how fuzzy and amazing. I'm obsessed with it. So this is my, oh my gosh, I keep knocking stuff. Um, so this is my um, singles base uh, with the colorway high T along with my mohair base, which I haven't had the mohair base in the shop yet. I have a couple skeins of the singles base in there right now. Um, or a couple colorways. There's four skeins, I think. Um, if you wanted to do one without mohair, but there's not a mohair to match. So I'm making kits for this. Oh, I was going to wait to do this one last so I could... Okay, we're going to take a pause and I'm going to talk about um, kits. So right now I only have two colorways dyed up for the kits. So this is high tea, which is the one I used for this. Um, but look at that mohair. Oh, it's so dreamy. Um... <laughs> So the speckles don't come out the same, obviously, because it's mohair and it does not speckle. But, oh, that purple at the top. Mmm, beautiful. Um, so I have this colorway and Lavender Lighthouse. So these, I'm going to do an update. It's honestly going to probably be toward the end of the month. Because the beginning of the year, from the 28th of December to... Um, The 9th of January, I was house sitting. Two different people, my friend from work and um, the people that I usually house sit for. So I wasn't home, I couldn't do anything. I had this, I had all this yarn sitting at home just waiting to be dyed, but I wasn't home. Um, so the day I got back, I dyed five kits. I have three of high tea and two of lavender lighthouse. Um, and I have a few more in mind that I want to do. Um, I'm gonna have to wait for some dye to come in. I'm also not sure if I ordered it because I thought I did and it should be here. Anyway. Um, but those will be going up. And if there are any colors that you guys want of this kit, um, based off of like my colorways that I have on my Instagram, just send me a message. I did like a poll, not a poll thing, but like a, one of those question things on my stories and I got some good answers and I really appreciate all of you guys um but if you weren't following me then or if you just didn't answer but you have some sorry my allergies are a mess um but if there are some colorways that you want please send me a message so I can dye them up because I'm not going to do too many of them because I don't want to just have a ton of kits um, sitting around but if the response is good then I'll do another update with more okay and I'll post on there like follow me Leah Fibers on Instagram if you want to stay updated on like when the update will be what I'll have blah 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 I'll do all of it okay <sighs> last two finished projects well I had another hat this is a hat I just a simple one by one rib I knit for my dad um because I knit him a hat a couple Christmases ago. It was bad. Um, so I knit him a new one. And he, he wears this one. So that's good. Um, and I knit my mom a hat. I don't have any more of the yarn left. I don't think. Um, but I couldn't find it this morning. So I did, she might have it with her <laughs> at work. Um, and I knit my sister some mittens. Which she has in her car. So I don't have those either. But they were just a very simple. It was in this same yarn the Malabrigo Arroyo in this color 
Um, and I think she really likes them. I need to knit myself some mittens because my hands are always cold. Okay. Stay focused. And the last finished project I have, um, I'm aggressively displeased with it. Um, so I knit the Felix pullover, which I've knit before and I love the pattern and it's amazing. But this time I steaked it because I didn't want to knit the cardigan and have like the back and forth. I didn't want to purl that much because I'm lazy. <sighs> and I hate it. Um, I steaked it, which was really fun and it was awesome. It looks so cute, doesn't it, right? But then I put it on and this here is just so frumpy and I don't like it. <laughs> Um, which it's just my personal, uh, like, thing. But now I don't know what to do with this. Um, I might sell it, maybe, if anybody would like that. I don't love how the inside looks, but... You know what? It's handmade, so... Get over it, Julia. <laughs> it's fine. Um, but this was with Peace Fleece, I think, in the Pal... Palomino... Pal oh. Yeah, Palom Palomino. Palomino. Pal Palo. Yeah, Palomino. I guess. Okay. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, worsted weight, which again, I love this yarn. I would be so happy with this if it just, if it laid differently right here. I like cardigans that go down. I don't like the ones that go like, which I should have realized before steaking it. It's fine. Um, so I'll have to figure out what to do with this. Because the color is lovely. And it fits really nicely. It's just... Ugh, it's so frumpy. Okay. Alright, okay. That is all of my finished objects. Which were a lot. Because I really pushed myself there at the end of the year. Um, so now I only have two works in progress at the moment. This episode is going to be pretty short because I'm almost done. Um, okay, so the first one I started is the, um, Ripple Camisole by Jessie May. Um, I'm using, what's it called? Okay, so it's just, um, Fiber for the People, their 8515 Merino Nylon. It's two-ply. It's very lovely this cutest little orange speckles here and there. I love it. This I think would go very nicely with this cardigan. I just like the colors together. So I think that'll be a fit of 2021. Um, I might finish this one in the next week or so. Um, again, I'm taking it really slow with my knitting and not stressing myself out. This is the first thing. I started it the 30th of December, I was um, house-sitting and I finished my cardigan, so then I started working on this. And I really like it. I love the squish of it. I love how ribbing feels. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, that's about it. That's all I have to say about it. It's just a very simple camisole. And the last thing I have to show you, I am making the habit habitation throw which it's just a little blanket with my Goosey Fibers Little Women Advent. Look at this. All of this is going to be a blanket and I'm so excited about it. Um, but it's just like a nice fade. It's going to be exquisite. Um, that's it. That's really all I have to say. Um, Thank you guys so much for letting me ramble on um, because I love to talk about knitting and I don't get to see my friends anymore. I see one of my friends because I babysit her son, but we don't have a lot of knitting talk. Um, but yes, okay, perfect. I hope you guys have a lovely January. I hope no more insane um, things happen in this country because it's insane right now. Um, but I hope I mean, it's going to keep happening, but I hope you find peace and you're like, you know, take a moment every day and just like chill out. I have to make myself do it. 
the end of the day I just paint for a while and I watch Supernatural which is garbage but I love it and I just chill out because I stress myself out so much during the day and I feel like a lot of people do that so just chill out knit do whatever um comment and tell me what you're knitting I love to read them I love to read your comments um yes so follow me on Leah Fibers to keep updated on my yarn stuff and follow me on my personal account Julia C Vestal which is where I post like more of my day-to-day -day knitting that's not Leah Fibers yarn so okay we got out under 30 minutes today great 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 okay thank you so much you have a good day